human beings do the best work when they're forced into a corner. How do you bring a billion people online? Is the big question we're asking every day. This is this is a first of a kind disruption happening globally, and it's coming from India. I bucket India into three categories uh, based on access to the internet. You have the top of the pyramid that are fully on board, like the West and the East. You have the middle that are sort of getting online, but use the internet in a in a spotty manner every couple of days, every second day, every third day. And then you have the bottom that's completely cut off from the internet. For India to be able to contribute towards the advancements that are coming up, you need a billion people online. To get a billion people online, you've got to lower the cost of access, and you have to find a way to increase the income of people. I'm a big believer in that to harness the true potential of a billion people, information access has to be free and instant for everybody. How do we get India there? As the population comes online, it has a direct impact on the GDP. But behind the scenes of access in the internet, you have fundamental needs like electricity and power. Those have to be addressed in in this perspective, in my opinion, and that's what I spend a lot of my time thinking about. This advancement's happening at a pace that we've not seen before. It's very rapid because it's built on the so-called third industrial revolution, the internet, where information transfer is free and instant. Human beings, as a species, don't like change. Things like how societies function, how companies function, what does our work look like five years from now? How do we define our work? Where do we derive our self-worth and identity from? They're all under sort of the spotlight. Us handling this world is going to be key to how much progress we make in the next five, ten years.